Hi everybody, and thank you so much for your interest in developing on the Chili's chain. I wanted to give you guys a background on Chili's as a company, as a protocol, as a labs accelerator, uh, to make sure that you guys understand really what our, our ethos, uh, our business mission and our ideals are as a business before quickly running you through some of the projects that we think are the most interesting to be developed on our chain uh, from today onwards to help support a, a retail centric, sports centric, entertainment centric uh, blockchain ecosystem. So as a company, Chili's has been in existence since late 2017, early 2018. Uh, with the core idea of creating a blockchain for sport and entertainment. The way we decided to pursue that is to first focus on a proof of concept product that would scale, something that ended up becoming Socios.com, uh, which also led to our, not necessarily inventing, but per se uh, coining the notion of uh, fan tokens as a fungible utility-based asset class tied to sports teams that create you know, a digital tokenized membership scheme for the fans that use them to connect with the teams that they represent. Uh, we were hard at work building Socios and pushing and furthering uh, fan tokens as an economy and as a utility product for over five years until we finally felt we were ready to launch the second open version of the Chili's blockchain on top of which Socios was built and fan tokens were minted and to actually invite third-party developers to grow not only the fan token utility ecosystem to create solutions, platforms, games, marketplaces uh, that utilize fan tokens as a, as a membership gating or, or otherwise utility experience, but even building new things, building things on behalf of you know broad IP and sports and or entertainment on the chain uh, in a community where people could very easily utilize our business infrastructure uh, through Socios, through our vast IP network, through our internal infrastructure, um, as well as our technical support, but also to be able to directly leverage all the work we've done for the past half decade. Uh, the aggregation of over 2 million fans in terms of registrations to the Socios app, uh, more in the broader Chili's fan, uh, Chili's token holding ecosystem, and as well, all the holders of fan tokens globally, not just in Socios, uh, but in personal wallets and exchanges around the world as well, because we think that's a very powerful USP uh, to bring not just the IP that we work with into the hands of developers, but also provide a gateway for adoption for those same developers as well. Um, and that's who we are, and that's what we want to build. And this is our first step uh, to do so is this hackathon where we're going to invite you to build things that are focused on digital experiences with or without fan tokens, infrastructure tooling experiences on behalf of fan tokens, tools for the, the blockchain itself that would help other developers create uh, retail and utility-minded platforms. Uh, these are things that can span anything from fan token gated commerce. Uh, we are very interested in pool gaming and pool betting experience, lossless betting experiences, uh, ways of using oracles and sports data oracles to create uh, new games and new marketplace experiences on, on the chain as well. And to that end, uh, the next section of this introductory video is also going to run you through the, the exact list that myself, our CTO, Alex, our CEO as well, have gathered around to give you an idea of what we would tend to prioritize and be interested in seeing uh, from a grassroots level being developed on our chain here. And please, I urge you, if you guys see me, our CTO, any other Chili's personnel on the floor during ETH Global or during our hackathon, and you have any specific questions about who we are as a company, what we're looking to develop, or any other initiatives that we have going on at Chili's, don't hesitate to come up and ask us questions and take up as much of our time as you feel you need. Now let's get to the next section of this video where we'll run you through a visual list of exactly the types of projects we are looking for the developers uh, here at our hackathon to focus on when they're building over the next few days.
navigate over to docs.chilies.com, click Chilies Chain Test Nets on the left side menu, click Spicy Test Net, click Install and Develop. Click Link Spicy Testnet to MetaMask. Make sure you've already installed MetaMask on your browser or your phone. Scroll down to find the connection details. Open MetaMask and click Network Selection on the top left. Select Add Network. Choose Add a Network manually. Fill in the fields using the data on our documentation. Click Save. Click Switch to Chili Spicy Testnet. And congratulations, you are done. Navigate to docs.chilies.com. On the left side menu, click Chili's Chain Mainnet. Click Connect to Chili's Chain. Choose Connect using RPC. Here you will find the connection details. Open MetaMask and click the network selection on the top left. Select Add Network. Choose Add a Network manually. Fill in the fields using the data in the developer documentation. Click Save. Click Switch to Chili's Chain. And congratulations, you are done. First, you want to navigate to spicy faucet.chilies.com. Next, you want to follow the instructions on the page. The first step will be to tweet using your X account. The tweet should include the blockchain address you want to fund with the tokens from the faucet. You can get to your address from your MetaMask. Once the tweet is published, find it, click the share button and select copy link. Next you can go to the faucet and paste the link in the input field. Finally, you can click give me chilies and select two chilies. You can click fan tokens and it will allow you to pick from a list of fan tokens. For this example, I'm going to use test bar. You can repeat this process for each token. You'll only be able to request one of each item every 24 hours, including chilies. Firstly, you want to navigate to spicy-faucet.chilies.com. Here you can see the instructions section. The third point gives you a link to click which will allow you to import your tokens to MetaMask. This step will not give you tokens, but it will allow you to see them in your wallet after you've requested them from the faucet. Press click here. Now choose which token you would like to add to your MetaMask. Once you've chosen, your MetaMask window will open. Click add token. You will now see the fan token in your MetaMask wallet. Go to bridge.chilies.com, click on connect to connect your MetaMask wallet. Select MetaMask. Click on your MetaMask extension. Select the wallet you want to connect with and hit next. Make sure that wallet holds chilies you want to bridge and enough Ethereum to cover the gas fees. The wallet with the chilies and the Ethereum should now be connected to the chilies bridge. Make sure the home network is Ethereum mainnet and the destination network is Chili's Chain mainnet. Enter the amount of Chili's tokens you want to bridge. Make sure that the destination address is matching with your wallet address. Click on Start Transfer twice to start the bridging process. In the MetaMask window, fill in your max spending cap for this transfer request. Make sure it is at least the amount of Chili's you're trying to bridge. Click on Next, click Approve. MetaMask may pop up again to increase the gas price to speed up the process. Click on Confirm if you want to hire the gas price. The transfer is now in transit. 
The transaction can take up to 30 minutes. The transfer has started. You can see relayers confirming the transaction. The transfer has been completed successfully. Click on View Transaction to see the transaction on the Chili's Explorer. Now we are going to check if we've received the tokens on the Chili's mainnet. Click on your MetaMask extension. Go to Select Network. Here you can see the Chili's tokens in your wallet. Click on the Chili's token to see your latest transactions. Go to remix.ethereum.org. Click on new file. Call the file token.sol. Go to docs.chilies.com to find the smart contract code. Click on Chili's Chain Mainnet. Click on Build on Chili's Chain. Click Deploy a Smart Contract. Click on ERC20 Smart Contract. Copy the smart contract code. Go back to remix.ethereum.org. Paste the smart contract code in the token.sol file. Change the variables like token symbol, token name, total supply, decimals. Click on Solidity Compiler. Click Deploy and Run Transactions. For the environment, select Injected Provider MetaMask. Now MetaMask will pop up. Select the correct wallet and hit Next. Connect your wallet to the Remix IDE. Select the sample ERC20 token contract. Click on Deploy. MetaMask will pop up again. Click on Confirm to confirm the contract deployment. If you click on your MetaMask extension, you will see under the Activity tab that your contract is successfully deployed. Also, you can see on the Spicy Explorer that your tokens have been minted by searching for the contract address or the token name.